but it's not. I mean, uh, maybe it's depend on period and how it's depend rethinking of history and national identity. Uh, it means that only by means of uh, historiography and rethinking of history you can feel ourselves like a uh, part of uh, one, uh, a part of people of one history because uh, according to Stalin's uh, opinion, only in 19th century Georgia formed from, uh, from like a uh, like an ethnos, like a nation. Mm. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's very hard. Uh, on the one hand, it's my point of view. On the other hand, it's a question. And mm. I don't know. You can comment or uh, answer. Uh, 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 what I tried in my presentation, it's not uh, the construction of. Uh, uh, Cartelli uh, Eri Historia, this is still to be done. What I tried here is to uh, present the context and to, to, to demonstrate how it was linked to social changes and really to open up a historiography that it's not about only the Bagratids, because this is what Cartelli uh, Sovreba is about, so the life of Cartelli. Uh, this history of this dynasty, and this is in medieval historiography, like for example Stephen Rapp did it, it is it, how it was made sense because the, the dynasts wanted to have their genealogy remembered and they could afford this. But under nation building process, what is to my point of view a modern, so also, also jo modern Georgian nation, really is something that took place in 19th century with Tertali Levy. Uh, uh, who interpreted in a broader sense that the Georgian nation is not only the noble class, mm -hmm. the Tavagni and the, and the Bagratids. It's more. We have to take the, 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 the peasants came up and so on. And they used models that were very uh, 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 up to date in, in, in that time in Europe. They used European models. But they came in touch in, in Petersburg. At the same time, of course, the Russian nation also got Europeanized. And because of that, because of their being in a, belonging to another ethnic group or nation, they were discriminated. And it's quite obvious that the discrimination along, uh, the, the markers for this discrimination became the main markers for the Georgian nation building. Kar, uh, uh, Satsmunweber, Mamuli, Ina Mamul Satsmunweber. Yeah. So language, uh, 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 um, motherland and uh, uh, belief. Yeah, belief. So, and, and I think you can trace this to a certain degree, but it needs really to be ready to, to question certain assumptions that are dominant in Georgian historiography. I think it's already ongoing. There are these questions also that are put forward to, to Soviet history, this uh, 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 movement really for topography of terror, so to highlight places of repression uh, uh, in Tbilisi and so on. There is something great of the, the new generation now is starting to turn towards also the recent past. It's also in, in Germany, so I'm from Germany, so it took 20 years and it started really to think about national socialism. What was it? How could it happen? And so on. Yeah? And, and so then there is this questioning because it's part of, of our biography, the, the need to orient yourself, not only in, in, in contemporary and political life, but also in, in, in where, you are, where you or your group is coming from. But to form, form this group, uh, 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 this is a challenge. And to my point of view, uh, uh, the Terk Dali Ulebi and, and, and up to the early 20th century, they managed to create a cultural understanding of the modern Georgian nation, but not a political one. Because the loyalty very often belongs to other friends, neighbors, and so not to the institution of a nation. Yeah. Or if I put just an example, I loved Tbilisi on my, on my car and threw out my paper and waste on the street. Yeah? So where is the coherence? Yeah? Something you would never do at home. And this is, this is the point, so you have a cultural nation, but the problem is, do we have a political nation, even today? I 
I, I, I rely on the first one. So I, at the moment, I relied on the one. Of the course, smallest. I have also the smallest. The smallest one, yeah. Because I really yeah, want. It's the worst. Of course, but I, I was really interested. What was, what did the people read or the educated society read in 1980? We cannot estimate that, uh, uh, that they read what, what uh, was then published in 1980 or so, yeah? The best, the best is uh, that uh, was uh, published in 1913, mm -hmm. during the empire. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, uh, the, the best parts uh, have been omitted, including the last part. This is still yeah, what I have to... Uh, Analyze. work on and, and really to put into but I have here so uh, uh, this uh, kind really this is only the history of the editions is quite interesting really the different volumes and yes. list of time and so on and put this into, uh, so but this one thing I didn't want to to bother you now here and, and really to outline really my approach and and uh, uh, I hope that I, I will find some more time really to go dig yes. deeper and then to present it also to you. And uh, then uh, I remember you would have not noticed that he has various approaches to the term Abhazi. Possibly, I did not editions. investigate this in detail, but uh, uh, mm -hmm. possibly. But uh, mm -hmm. this needs really then a, 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 a thorough reading and then really to, yes. to identify is a term applied coherently, but this is something that more than one people has to do because there are then really so many issues in the mm -hmm. oh. I, I have given it years ago, but... Did you want to I don't know what I have a very small question, one you mentioned the social history of Georgia in 1920s. Who wrote this one? I, I apologize for my ignorance, but no. I'm just hungry for to any to check, kind yeah, of I don't the social recall. history oh, no. about the Georgia. So. I can, I, I will tell okay, you. Yeah? Thank so you. I owe you this because I don't recall the name now. So. Okay. Well, it was not the one of the established historians, so it, it was an outsider. <coughs> And the second question is about the, from the methodological point of view, you, I think that uh, I'm some, some sort in the line just to, to look at the, I'm not the historian at all, I'm using the, uh, I'm the good reader, let's say, mm -hmm. of the history books. And all time what I was missing is that it's some sort of the artificial, there is no life if we just compare mm. to the, let's say, yeah. social history approach. Not an easy read, yeah. Yes, and not an easy read, but however. So my question is that it could be happened in a way that the, you were t talking about the coherency, about in a normative sense and in mm. the sense of what we are practicing, yes? Mm. And you have mentioned that this double ideological press, let's say, so... It's a hypothesis, so... No, 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 it's not only hypothesis, because, for example, the same work and the tablet, mm. you cannot just push anything until 1956, mm -hmm. just to put Marx and Engels. You have to write in the mainstream of the ideological press. And uh, the, my question is that there's this uh, one of the hypotheses is also that the communist regime helped uh, to establish the nationalism. Mm -hmm. And the, my question is maybe this, let's say, pure positivistic uh, approach was simply forgotten in a time when it was not very appreciated or very mm -hmm. welcome. And it was mainly about that you can write anything that was coming in the mainstream. So my question is that when we are thinking about what if we have to think now about not deconstructing but simply reconstructing our real history. So what would be the methodological approach again the positivism or what would you just prefer as a methodological approach? What would be the main paradigm for the approach in a history now? 
or I, I, I would uh, say as diverse as possible, yeah? so okay. different approaches. So social scientists, so like collective memory and production, so through interaction from one point, really that they are historical one, really analyzing texts, how they are conducted really in close, thick, uh, detailed reading of how it is, is it coherent in itself? How is really the understanding of, of certain terms? Or, uh, uh, or in, to, and then you can create a synthesis after that. Really the practice, uh, because of the scientific practice, was very arbitrary. It was really more a matter of power than of the strength of the argument. Yeah, so Nico Ma himself is the best example who pushed very much to get into Tbilisi State University, really replacing uh, Javakishvili 1926 and, and so on, yeah, and really uh, not allowing that he can produce big books any longer. For Javakishvili, in that time, I'm quite convinced that this kind of unreadable or difficult readable kind is really to. So uh, these are the facts, and I'm presenting only facts really that he wanted to demonstrate to be as positivistic as possible and that makes it so unreadable because there's so little a uh, little uh, kind of interpretation there yeah. so he, he put all what he gathered together into one piece and uh, and of course I don't know how the students really used it because it was uh, the, the basis for his lectures how the students really were following that and, and, and how they could follow up on that, yeah? so, or did he present it in another way and then they went? So this is something what I, I have to look up in, 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 in the letters maybe and that's why this personal archive uh, from, from Kalamishvili. The practice. Good, uh, 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 there's a good book for example about uh, Milukov, Pavel Milukov, and, uh, who uh, and, and, uh, social, school of social history in Russian historiography, who then became a, a, a member of the uh, uh, liberal democracy, constitutional, constitutional democrats, yeah, and uh, a politician, and after the turn of the century, but it's very and this research is very interesting. It looked at how he was teaching and and, and this, and then he compared it with with the works that were done. Very interesting. But unfortunately, in German. Okay, and the last question, please. I'm going to be short, and it might be a silly question, but I wonder you mentioned letters as an important resource of yeah. history writing. And I wonder what's the future of history writing in everyone's country? <laughs> Good question. Good question. So, uh, 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 so think about or maybe writing more letters. But, uh, <laughs> Sometimes if I see how many emails I get per day and, and, and really the, the point is also with the amount of emails that the content is not becoming more important. Uh, so uh, uh, probably this will, will be a question really for future generations how to retrieve, retrieve the past then. Uh, uh, but it's also the question what will be the role of or the function of history in a, in a, in a future generation. Of you? It might also change, yeah, so uh, uh, we don't know yet. But it's so I, I, I think there are no silly questions, as one of my teachers told me. So only silly answers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does make you think about, about sources. I think. The fact is that most sources used by historians were not created in order to give future yeah. historians yeah. what yeah. happened. I think about it. if some person from the future would come and look at my email inbox, yeah. say my working email, would they have any idea what my office has just on the basis of those emails? And they wouldn't at all. You have to do all sorts of un un unstated things that you don't state because you, know, you repeat this over and over. You have to use a number of different ways to yeah. say, like, yeah, and, why and these things Probably are. this will be the task of future historians as well, so you have to <laughs> identify the right sources for their research and about our. Uh, uh, present. Okay, thank you. Our time is over. Thank you.